Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zila and um sorry I got a little distracted on starting this video. And yeah, thanks Lyft. <laughs> I'm not going to take that away from you. Uh that's that's all you he he um he told me that he acts like a jackass on his test uh to make himself laugh and that's I that cracked me up so I just tried it and it made me laugh too. So there you go. Um Okay, now now I can't even remember what I was doing here. Uh what are we doing today? Today, um, now that I've completed the first real test of the Iron Man, I don't really consider falling to the planet a test. Like, yeah, okay. But, um, you know, sure, uh, last night, or whenever... Maybe a couple days ago. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I finally got, after multi tooling and everything down, we finally got this spawned in. So I think today what we can do and what we're allowed to do is we're allowed to warp somewhere. We might be able to, too. <laughs> I, I think this is awesome. Um, and I also, ooh, you know what I built? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where, where did I do it? Was that, do I have it on me? No. Oh, where did I put it? Didn't I make it? Did I not make it? Or did I put it on it? Now I can't remember. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Okay, so here it is. Here's the hangar bay. It's big enough to fit my HV in it. That's all that really matters. Because I'll just throw the SV up on the top for now. Uh, let's go and check it out. Yeah, it's real basic. This is what you call your basic starter CV. So I this actually came just just the hull with the engines and CV, RCSs and... Uh, uh, warp drive and everything else I had to put in so all the stuff that's not painted black I put in myself uh, and I looted that's you know all the stuff I've been looting I can I just threw it here really. it's like I didn't need to really make much for it and that's why I don't really put much into my first CV because all the stuff I loot I don't know what I'm gonna loot half the time right so why build a bunch of stuff and then you know put put a bunch of stuff into your starter CV when it when sometimes resources are really dear on some of these multiplayer servers where the resources are thin. Anyway, uh, so here's the cockpit area. Let's fire this puppy up. I think I fueled it up. Let's take a look. Maybe not. Nope, I haven't filled it up. So. Let's just do that. We've got 245, 200. Yeah, so we've got lots of fuel right now. Uh, oh, you know what I did not do last video? And I feel horrible for it, but I didn't show my B stats. Um, so there you go. Uh, I am currently level 25, 74 kills, zero deaths. So that's the, that's the main one. <laughs> okay. Uh, so what we're going to do is, well, let's fire it up. There we go. Put in some deco. So it's pretty sparse. Yeah, I know the core is right there in behind the pilot, but you know what? Meh. <laughs> yeah. This thing is so ugly, I'm almost embarrassed that I made it. Uh, this is actually from scratch, too. But you, 
you guys realize that I am not really, I don't invest a lot of time into the look and feel of my stuff. Oh my god. My stuff is so ugly. I, I know. I know that for a fact. Um, it's, it's all about, it's all about just functionality for me with this game a lot of times because I, I have spent a lot of time on doing the fit and finish and and that's all fine and dandy but um, I'm kind of a, one of those power gamer type guys and I just <laughs> plowing through some of this stuff sometimes you know I, I did oh, I missed some paint yeah. that's character okay so you can see it's still pretty sparse there's no grow plots there's no i don't i'm mm, i might be able to put lights up there yeah so that it's possible it's possible i could probably uh swing a couple plots into here and on each side i'm not gonna bother <laughs> that seems ridiculous and I can always come back to the base if I need to. So, what we need to do first is we're just going to uh, give it, now that it's all set up. Oh, you know what? I didn't really give you the full turret, did I? So, okay, let's show you this ugly beast. And I fully admit this thing is brutal to look at, okay? Just, just saying. I'll drone it up. Much easier to take a look at it at night. Sorry, it's at night. I just, it is what it is. You know, limited time and all that stuff. Blah blah blah. Sorry guys, but you get you get what you get. This is an Iron Man. Oh, you know, and and I don't really polish my videos, as you can tell. I'm actually kind of a hack. Okay, so here we go. This is my. Uh, <laughs> Brutally ugly starter CV. You know what? But she can fly. She can fly. And she can take an HV and she can park an SV on the top. And we can get in right here. Uh, the, the other nice thing about it too is, yeah, there's my drill. Okay, I already mounted it. That's what I thought. I put it on the nose because... I like to just needle in to places and, you know, get that ore. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly, quickly, we're going to, as quickly as we can here, outfit this thing. So, let's just go into the control panel on my base and grab a bunch of stuff. Uh, for starters, we should grab, oh, whatever, how much bullets do I got? 900. No, I just made a bunch, right? Yeah, I was making a bunch for the... Uh, I didn't have enough Neo to actually make uh, anything but the uh, cannon turrets on the CV, so, you know, it is what, he, what, what it is. I made a CV without really... without having to leave the sector to do it, right? So... It is what it is. You're gonna get a a homespun CV, so to speak. I would not call this a geek tech um, special in any way. This is my own um, flavor of a starter CV, uh, and it is cheap. And I will tell you right now, it is quite cheap. I've seen cheaper ones too, but you know what? For, for the size of it and how many engines it's got, how responsive it is, and even even when you fully like uh, uh, armor it up, which I'm going to do here. Uh, where is it here? Basic call engines warp. I actually have this published. Now, yeah, the iron. It's it, but still okay. We're we're top. We're talking about a capital vessel that's able to hold a decent size HV in its cargo bay you can land pretty much any size SV up there I mean most people don't have ridiculous size ones especially for a starter vessel you're not gonna have some ridiculous size SV to right right okay so 
Uh, the Neo is the problem. That is the big problem with the build. Uh, I've seen builds with a lot smaller Neo. Lot smaller. You can get away with like a flying warp engine really if you want and really cut these costs down if you make it yourself and just go you know like one block thruster in every direction and and <laughs> and just have bare minimal nothing no hanger no interior just a freaking just a, a tiny little nothing for a cockpit maybe even exposed you know I've seen those CV builds too and trust me I'm I'm not into that don't need to do that. So you can see the stats are cheap enough, I think, you know, like, the, like, come on, people, it's not that bad for a starter. Not that bad, right? Uh, especially on the, some of the cheaper stuff, like the Cobalt and Sath. Uh, it's the, it's the Neo that kills it. It's because of the six medium block thrusters in every direction. Uh, and I just, that's my style. Sorry, I like the six in every direction <laughs> of equal type. It goes the same speed in every direction. Then I just, you know, it is what it is. That's my my uh, piloting style. I like to go just as fast backwards, sideways, up, down, every direction, the same speed. It just, it's not as jumpy that way. I don't know. Okay, let's um. Sorry, we were grabbing a bunch of stuff and I got yakking about the build of that thing. Well, I guess it's appropriate due to the fact that we're looking at it, I guess. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Let's steal some stuff. Let's just steal. We'll steal. We, we don't really need to, but I like to have stuff on hand. So we're going to steal like a stack of that. We're going to steal. We've got a bunch of that for... Okay, so... We don't have a lot of cobalt. Take half of it. Uh, ooh, we're gonna need a, mm, take half the copper, half the silicone. Okay, we'll take. Uh, let's take a look at the ammo fuel one here. We'll take. A couple of stacks of Prometheum. <sighs> That's all we got for magnesium. I really need to get more magnesium. Well, I need everything at this point. That's what our main goal. We need to get some pentaxid. We need to go to the moon, get pentaxid. So let's get this going here. We've got this stuff. We're going to put in there uh, is that going to be enough for now? I've got a bunch of fuel. I'm going to need oxygen more than that. So let's, let's grab fuel and oxygen. So let's grab, there's our pentaxid. We might as well put that in there. Grab a bunch of this, right? I'll leave the rest in here. I mean, that's a lot for now. Trust me, it's a lot for such a tiny little ship. It is. It's a tiny little CV. It's, it is, it is truthfully. Um, well, what else? What else? What else? Food. Duh. Right? <laughs> well, let's grab some you never know we'll grab a couple of stacks of the texture plant protein we got to come back to a kua for sure anyway because i'm sure the next mission will be a kua still um so yeah uh we'll take a couple of stacks eh, we'll refrigerate it let's grab what else Let's grab a couple of stacks of a couple of cans. Forty. I mean, if we get into trouble, we'll have the HV with us. Yeah. For now, I mean, I don't need to take everything with me, right? I don't really. I've, I've, I've laid off on the gardening now because I hit level 25. I've got so much freaking food. I just 
don't need to worry about that right now. I've got lots of lots of food, ridiculous amounts of food. I'm good for food. I'm done with food. Uh, texture print protein, maybe not. Bandages, not so much either, because I'm uh, I'm a little bit of an overuser on bandages. <laughs> Uh, it's just, you know, go big or go home, right? Right? Well, the CV isn't really much of a statement, but hey, this is an Iron Man, and this is like some of the first CVs in the Imperial yeah. Iron Man, so <sighs> we'll see what it looks like. I don't mind it so far. The black color scheme with the green is not that bad right now. We'll go with that. The uh, fake light texture on the front instead of windows is <laughs> cheesy, but kind of funny. Uh, we'll leave it. <laughs> uh, that's okay. The rest of it could just stay. Let's just do this. Okay. It's ridiculous. Um, uh, you know what? For now, we'll just... Uh, did I... Is everything dead then? Yeah, everything's dead. I I just got other stuff to do now. I, I, I can go take this and really get some good stuff other than just picking the bones off of dead drones. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I'm busy. I'm not going to scavenge anymore. I'm going for it. I'm going for the gusto. I've got the big drill. I've got the big drill. We're going to space and getting some real ore. We've got some time here for the next mission. We've got, we've got a while. We've got, you know, we've got a while. So we can do some damage here to the universe. We can pluck some civilian POIs in other planets. We can we can run amok here without attacking any um, combat POIs. So we can really get a lot of stuff and be totally prepared for the end as much as possible, I think. So that's what we're going to do. So right now <laughs> is going to be part of this and we're going to actually make this thing a slug, but it's going to be a big lead slug. So we're going to harden it up and we're just going to quickly run over it here. I don't think tonight I'm going to do the whole thing. What I'll do is just, I'm going to do the uh, cockpit area. And what? I'm out? What do you mean? No upgrade available. Did I already upgrade it all? Maybe I already finished upgrading it. Good on me. Oh, no. See, I missed a whole bunch of stuff. So we'll just quickly uh, skim over this thing and try and get as much more as possible. So you're, as long as you have the, the materials on you, you can see you can just select the upgrade and as long as that block that you're aiming at you have the materials for it on you to upgrade it and press the trigger it will upgrade it and you can hear most of this side was not upgraded obviously i had missed a lot of it well what can you say when you're pushing your when you're pushing your senses and your body to the limit doing these iron man no, I was just tired. <laughs> I'm just an old man, and I'm tired sometimes. Can you blame me? Okay. Uh, I think. Oh, see, I just, I, I, I totally did not do a good job of <laughs> obviously armoring this thing. Uh yeah. Well, at least you know what did I? Let's let's at least get the get the inside done, right? To protect me. Okay. So did I at least do that? 
There we go. No, no, I've got. Oh, nope. So I'm missing stuff. I'm missing. I'm missing. Yeah. yeah. I'm missing lots of. So I'm just trying to turn all this stuff into combat steel. Because it just spawns in as as uh, steel blocks, regular steel blocks. It's more of really just a freighter than anything. It's not a combat vehicle, but I can make it a little tougher, at least, doing this. Make it take a hit or two. Because combat steel, you can't just one shot. Oh, did I just drop something? Did No? That just sounded weird. Okay. Anyway. Like I say, I'm, I'm old. I hear things. So, uh, how's everything else up here? Oh, see, I, I especially want to get around the turrets because they're going to get shot at, right? So, yeah, wow, I missed a lot up here. I missed a lot of it, really. Eh. Uh, eh. Uh, well, okay. Jeez, did I just miss the whole thing? Did Maybe I just didn't do it at all. Like, wow. Did I just do the cockpit? Maybe I just did the cockpit. I plan on doing the whole thing. Well, I guess uh, that's what this episode is for, right? <laughs> Not. Okay. Really? Did I not do this side? Oh my god. Okay, we gotta get at least the cockpit area. The closed area. Well, the inside and outside blocks. Okay. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Even if my crap gets blown to bits, I can still back off and get out of there. I can still potentially warp out of there. I can still just run away, right? Run away and survive because you only get one life in this game. And that's why I got no windows. <laughs> no, I just, I just, you know, I have no imagination. I, I, I can't install windows without them leaking, so... Uh, well, let's, uh, let's head out. I think we got everything now, right? So let's see, we got, we got stuff and some more stuff. We got some more stuff and some more stuff. Okay. I think we've got enough stuff. Let's go. Yeah, whoa, got dark. So, <laughs> um, ooh, actually, let's make sure I've got an EVA boost on me. Do I could not, do I, did I not bring one? Yeah, that would be stupid. Okay, so that would be an incredibly embarrassing thing. <laughs> Go out into space without an EVA boost. You can do it, and, and there are ways of doing it. And I, I can show you guys. I just. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. I'm not going to lie. For now, I'll just grab one. Got to have one in the base, right? Let's take a look. Yeah, there's one. Let's grab that. Only going to need one. If I die, we'll wear it. Well, I died. I don't mind that. I don't mind the look of that. I like the I like that specific um, texture, the one that glows. I like that. I'm not sure if I'm really into the black yet. Well, it'll have to grow on me, I think. That is GTI colors, after all. So you know, gotta keep with the uh, the corporation's look, right? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I'm I'm not proud of it, guys. Okay, I'm. 
I know it sucks. I know it looks hideous. I know it's just like this piece of garbage, but it's going to take us to space, okay? It's going to take us to other planets. Other planets. Let's pee into this thing now to give it some boost. And specifically, we're going to fill the oxygen. We'll fill the warp tanks while we're here, too, with what we got. We're going to top that up, I think, really quick at the moon, though, and maybe zap a block. We're not actually going to warp tonight, probably, <laughs> but because of reasons. Okay. Uh, actually, one thing I'd like to do first, though, is I like to turn a custom switch well it's not really a switch it's just a, it's just a custom I guess you could call it a switch it's not it's not actually like a signal log it's not a signal logic switch it's just a on off switch so I'll call it a switch okay uh, getting over that we will will put our devices into it where is it? Our devices. We want our RCSs in there. So that we don't wiggle when we're just chilling and having tea and and mining. But we bump the mouse and we spin all over the place. Yeah. Been there. Um engines and engines you see in the scene theme here this is really difficult and whoever thought of this I'm not impressed it's a really complicated system um, and we might have been able to script that better but I'll just run with their Thing they've got going already so <laughs> I'm just kidding it's awesome um, so they're all on let's turn our oxygen on now let's take a look here how pathetic this thing is <laughs> oh no 14 <laughs> shit are we going to be able to warp even there's a minimum speed to be able to warp. And I forget what it is. It's like 60 or something. Oh crap. What if we can't go fast enough? I have those other two big thrusters I think still. Don't I? No. Don't tell me I used them already. Eh. Oh well. We'll deal with it. Let's just get out of here. We'll uh. I'm sure you're, you're tired of looking at the deco. I don't have windows. Okay, so let's, um, nope, wrong way. And we'll just, uh, so this thing only has turrets on it, which is going to suck. But it, hey, it took off, right? Hey, we're flying, we're flying. Woo! We've got a CV in the air. And we just don't care. We're flying like, well, I'm not going to say how we're flying. We all know how I'm flying. Let's get straightened up here. Okay, so... Um, really, I should probably put stuff away. This thing... What's it going to be like while it's... All of it... All of this whole... Graphical user interface has, like, changed. And now I'm looking for stuff. <laughs> it's like... Uh, um... Battery fuel to consumption 4.39. Okay. 4.39. <laughs> we've got we've got a hundred megawatts and 4.39. Okay, so that's not a big deal. We're using four percent power gliding. So let's go up our yeah, let's go up at max speed, because that should be the well, our power usage isn't even going up, is it? 
How about if we go forward at the same time? 7%. Okay, so yeah, we've we've overgenerated this thing, which is perfect because this thing is going to evolve over time from the little caterpillar it is right now to something much more as long as I don't die. <laughs> And that's the key, right? As long as I don't die, right? Yeah. Um, let's just go to outer space. What am What am I doing? What am I doing? Let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go. We don't know, need to so <laughs> see how crappy this thing flies. Although I should actually set it some. Um, turrets up so that I don't shoot any any other like base turrets by accident. Oh, spawn in beside a base and took out the turrets right away. Uh-oh, I just disqualified myself. Okay. Uh, so, oop, there's the freighter or something. We're just going to avoid that. This thing is not really a combat vessel at all. This is a resource gathering vessel. Resource gathering. That's right. So I guess what we could do is we'll hmm We'll avoid that thing and maybe go, oh, what's over there? Another baddie? Oh no, that's the admin station. Huh. We could go check that out, I guess. I'm sure all of you have probably seen Akua's admin station though. It's like the most common one, right? So let's not, let's just not. Really, would I? Mm. I need more pentaxid. I don't really want to warp out of the system without more pentaxid. Um, so I'm going to do that off camera. I'm going to do pentaxid off camera. I think right now we're going to try and hunt for. I just want to use this drill so bad, right? Like a CV drill? Come on. How ultimate for resource gathering. And, oh, that looks like a baddie. Oh, he's a big meanie. I'm not going over there. He's gonna wreck me. Wrecked him? Damn near killed him. Okay, where am I? Where is that other one? Can't believe I got lost. Come on, Zelot. What the hell are you doing? Oh, right, yeah, 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 exactly, ooh, sorry, I'm just talking to myself, because, um, apparently I'm the only one that understands me, so, it's a good thing, too, I think. Where are they? Turret? It should be under turret. Oh, ungrouped. That's why. Because I put them on after? Yeah. Derp a derp. Okay, so... I was flying around with that on, so that sucks. Uh, I don't want it taking out any of this crap right now. Other faction, I don't care. Alien, yes. Alien will take out drones. Except for large drones. Alien and... Mounted weapon, I think, will work. Ugh. We'll get to that when we get there. Let's just make sure we've got the drones in Akua going here. So let's get all these set to just... Just other faction alien. If, if somebody jumps in my game with me, well, then they deserve to die. Um, 
Uh, I don't know how that would ha <laughs> possibly happen. <laughs> Be like, how did he hack my computer and get into it and jump into my single player game? Wow, that's amazing. I guess it's possible. I think I, I think it is possible because you can actually have your single player game run as a multiplayer. So, yeah. Okay. Uh. Okay, I think we're good there. Should we group this stuff and then it's gonna lose its settings, right? I think it. Maybe it'll retain the settings. Let's let's experiment here. So, we've we set the settings on those turrets, right? And they've they've held those settings. And then we're going to group it. Okay, so now we're going to go to the turrets. And we can actually put the whole turret group into another um, custom switch. And, but for now, I'm just going to expand this, go into here. And yeah, kept it settings. Okay, that's cool. Good, good to know. Uh, okay. Cool. Sweet. We're just floating around like dead ducks, are we? Okay, yeah, let's, uh, let's start moving. And we'll, you know, start wiggling our tails and shine really bright for the sharks out there that... No, I'm just... Uh, oh, that reminds me. I guess if, if we're gonna get into combat, potentially, we might want to fill this up with some bullets. That helps. Okay. Uh, you know what? I should probably put crap away too, like stuff that's going to expire, right? Right? God, I'm just jumping the gun here. So let's get a couple of T2 fridges. Get that stuff in there. I don't want my uh, time counting down too much on my plant protein because I need that with me while I'm in POIs. And I forgot to take that with me. I could have used that stuff, the perishable stuff. Oh, well, derp a derp. I derp a lot. You'll find that out. I'm a, I'm a, I'm the derp king, really. I mean, I think you saw one episode. I, I made a bunch of cores and put them in my harvester cargo box. Like, why would I do that? Okay, anyway. um, So that's my rant on how stupid I am. In the meantime, I'm going to eat one of those. We'll have that open. Okay, let's put the rest of the stuff away. None of this is labeled, so I'm just gonna put that stuff in there. A lot of this stuff is actually gonna go into the, uh, we'll just put them in the constructors then. So we'll put that in there. Um, we're gonna need fuel and ammo and the other one probably and this one can construct blocks too I guess we got our Eva with us we got a texture tool because that's very important out in space and yeah golden so let's find something to dig shall we before this episode is over so that is pretty close, but I'm not going to go there. <laughs> okay. Okay, look for little, little telltale signs of, like, drones flying. Because they're, like, uh, they'll be darting across the sky and stuff in the background and behind these hiding... They're like little gremlins hiding behind stuff. Okay, come on. Give me something. Something. <sighs> What's even in here? What's what is this place even worth it? Cobalt. Yeah. Promethium, iron, copper, silicone. Whoa, the whole gambit plus cobalt. Hmm. Okay, I wouldn't mind finding cobalt. I wouldn't mind finding the cobalt. Maybe the copper too. 
You know, I, I wouldn't mind finding the silicone too. I'm probably gonna need the iron too. I might as well grab the promethium. Yeah, I just want it all. That's it. Oh, give me so. Oh, there we go. What's this? What's this? What's this? This is copper. Okay, so we'll nose up to this thing. Are there any baddies around? Any baddies? Hmm? Any mean, mean little evil droids? No. Ugh. I wouldn't mind actually seeing how this thing performs against one. Were those things looking at? something no it looks like they did turn a bit though it was probably some predator when I was taking off or something right I don't know I haven't actually found any droids like that's kind of unusual isn't it isn't there way more than just none Ugh. that's disappointing <laughs> I'm actually, I wouldn't mind getting some power coils and stuff right now from them. Eh, oh well. Okay, so we'll just, um, what we'll do is we'll mine a bit to finish off the episode. And what I'd like to do is I just alt out so that I can really see where I'm lined up in the distance that I'm at because it's just it's really hard to tell sometimes so and then I'll come right in I'll come in pretty close and then I'll lower down because you can get a better higher angle than you can can lower so I want most of it above me or above the the center of my drill I want most of that node there. So I'm kind of in the center of it now, right? Like pretty, pretty good. When I jump in the drill, you'll see that I might not even still be able to reach the bottom part there. Whoops. Did I get everything below there? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, okay. That's the only problem with this CV is it is only one block thick in the hangar bay and and construction area it's only the um it's only the cockpit area that's double blocked okay so um let's jump in easy enough we just go into the control panel and you have to have a harvest box if you do not have a cargo box for harvesting you will poop little nuggets out instead of collecting them. You'll just drill them up and poop them out and they'll float off into space as little as little ore turds out the back of your ship. So, so just to be aware, before you stick a drill on, make sure you got a <laughs> cargo box for harvesting. It specifically says harvest, just like this on it. It's, it's pretty noticeable, okay. Anyway, um, I've, I've seen it, okay? I've seen it happen. I've seen people do it many times. It's, it's, it's actually quite funny. <laughs> it's, it is actually kind of funny. Okay, so let's jump in. So we're going to go back into our control panel and go into our devices then. So now it should be part of our harvest group because I, yes, there it is. So drill turret, we're just going to jump in. And the problem with the turrets that I found is you there's no way I, I can't get my radar back even by tabbing in and out it's not like it's not like a drone where you can get your radar back so um, and I can't I can't change what type the only thing this does is drill it just collects or now in this state without radar I'm a little bit vulnerable. My turrets should protect me against anything coming in the direction that my turrets can shoot at. Mind you, I'm very unlucky and everything seems to attack me from the bottom belly. God, 
that's really loud, isn't it? Okay, you can see how super fast that was. That was like awesome. And it's not quite done. Okay, so that was like easy mode, mining, nothing around here. We're safe as can be. <sighs> In the lap of luxury. Yeah, this is the way to mine. Actually, no. I'll show you the way to mine, hopefully fairly soon. This is not the way to mine, but we might see it yet in this Iron Man. Maybe. Maybe next season. Okay. Uh, let's keep mining. So, so to jump out, just hit F. And you're still in your cockpit. So you can still, like, see, I left the back door open. You know what I'm going to do really quick? I'm going to turn the engine off. I'm going to turn it back on. And that turns the door. That flips all your, your door switches. So... Um, if you ever forget to, you know, close your hangar door, because nobody ever forgets to do that and flies around, right? Nobody ever does that. And did I not put any lights on? Okay, so, so, one thing that I forgot was to put lights on, <laughs> and we can't see right now, so... This is what we do. This is why we have these. This is why we have this. We can go like this and go like. Let me just not see. There they are. Uh, six. Do a half dozen here. I like to spread them all around the front. Just in this big wide array to try and get as much coverage as possible on a rock face. And we're watching a constructor. I am so sorry. <laughs> uh, we should be positioning, right? Let's try positioning. So again, alt, and then move your mouse around, get to where you can see, you know, it's, I know it's dark. Sorry, guys, we're getting lights going. Just, it'll, it'll happen. Uh, let's, let's go forward, not backwards. Forward, 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 forward. Come on, come on, come on. This thing is sluggish. I must agree. It is, or it is sluggish now, now that it weighs a ton. It's just a blob of, a little blob of metal. Uh, I've been in worse, but I've been in a lot better. I'll make it better. And this will be part of it. So is that... I can't really see. I know on the video you'll probably be able to see better, which is funny. Uh, I think... I can't aim up any higher than that anyway. When you're at that point, you can just... It doesn't matter. You can just jump in, right? So... Um, let's see how this is doing. This should be done. Good. Let's get these up. Because that is annoying. So, we'll just jump out really quick here. And I'm not going to have my jetpack on. And it doesn't really matter. You can see I'm still fine. As long as I don't fall out, that would suck. Because I don't actually have my jetpack. That was actually kind of taking a risk. And you know what? Right now I'm actually a, a little bit worried. Because <laughs> I've had this happen where you jump out without your jetpack on. And all of a sudden you're outside, of <laughs> you're outside the hall. Like literally outside in space. It's like, whoa! Falling. Because you don't have your jetpack on. It's... I haven't had that in a while. But it, it has hit me a couple times. So, eh. Now I'm a little bit nervous about that, so let's just go like this. Equipment, equipment, armor locker. We're going to swap. Nope. Yeah, I, I know I want to drink wine right now because I'm all freaked out about what I've done here. Potentially killed myself in an Iron Man. That would be just tragic. The bug right out of my ship and <laughs> I can die. Okay, but at least if I bugged out now, I got an EVA boost on, I can fly back with my jetpack, I could survive.
we're happening. We're not going to shoot up any POIs anyway, so it ain't going to matter. Uh, and then I'm going to spawn the drone, or not. You know what? I am going to put the jetpack on then, just so I can straighten up. And spawn the drone. I don't have a gravity generator on this thing. It's really small. I'm not sure if I can even fit one on. I haven't even tried. Okay, so let's get these on. Hmm. So we want a good array, right? So... I'm thinking, because I, I, I rarely have it turned really hard to the side, right? It's not a combat turret. Unfortunately, it gets shot at sometimes, which is kind of bizarre, but... Um, or I think it might be just because I'm taking it in the face, right? And it's right there. But not so far on this epi on this series. Uh, not in Iron Man so far, but... Because obviously I just <laughs> spawned this thing, but... Okay, uh, yeah, I think right here, whoa, let's, um, things may appear closer than they seem, okay, um, that's probably pretty good right there, and on the other side, what's that going to look like back there, hmm? I know, that looks stupid. <laughs> More cheese. That's not bad. That's not bad, though. That's that's actually... Uh, that's not bad at all. I like that. That actually got right in the center there. There's no black anything in the middle of that array. I like that. That's good. Okay, so let's continue to put more lights on here. So we can... We can potentially... These are just good. Pot lights to me are just disposable completely. I don't care how often they get blown off, which is quite often. Quite often. Happens a lot. I just... I don't care. So we can go... one there for... did that help that much? Mm, not really. Not really. So what about if we... if we... here, let's get rid of that one. Yeah, because we're going to change it. So let's, we're going to change the type of it. No. Let's do this. Thank you. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is... What if we'll get more spread? More spread. Let's see. Is that going to be too much? It's just going to look weird. I don't care. I, guys, I know I know my stuff looks hideous. You don't have to tell me. I absolutely know it's the worst looking stuff out of everyone's stuff. It's functional for me. So just... <laughs> looks like he's got little zits or something. Yeah, that's funny. I'll have to paint them red or something. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's this look like? Woo! Me's alike! Why did I do that voice? Because I hate... I'm not going to say it. It's not even allowed. Okay. Hmm. So more back here even, and even widen the spread more, and so I don't need it lower because I can't go much lower than that. So I need it higher. I need it higher. So let's. What if I do it, flip it, right? So if I flip it, like. Oh my god, what if I just do, like, something stupid, like, hang on, I had it on the right axis. Like this. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Okay. 
There we go. Oh, the other one's in my backpack. Okay. Or whatever you want to call it, inventory. Oh yeah, that's... That is awesome. Mucho better. Huh? Huh? Isn't that better? Yeah. Okay, let's get back in here. Okay, so... Well, we had it lined up. See, I should have turned the engine switch off. <sighs> Bump my mouse. And I gotta fix it. No, it looks fine. Okay. There we go. More copper. Because this is super exciting stuff. <laughs> I know. But look at it coming in. It is exciting to me. It's exciting to me. Woo! We're drilling with a laser. We're drilling with a laser in space. How cool is that? I love this. I, um... I frickin' love this. I frickin' love this. Okay. That's it. I can't go down anymore. See? See? It doesn't go down that far, does it? But it goes way up. It's like, woo, no problem. So I should have went down much further. So that's okay. We just jump out and hit C. See, si, senor. Now we just really see it up. Okay. That looks good. Let's try that. Let's try that. And it when you when you go back into the control panel, it actually default highlights back to the thing that you were just in if you're not specifically looking at something. Okay. So for example, if you're in your cock if you're sitting in the cockpit seat, then it'll go back to the last thing that you're using. Which is handy. Then you're not scrolling all the time. And, you know, jumping back in, moving it, zap a bit. Because some of these are really thin and just take seconds to dig out. Just seconds. As you can see, it's not a lot of time. And it's it's a little bit disproportionate looking at it right now. Like if I went, if I jumped out <clears throat> and flew up to it, my guy would be a little dude beside it right now. Like, well, okay, but eh, we, we don't have any perspective here to gauge the size of this asteroid. Team. So... In our view right now, this does not look that big, but in reality, in the game reality, if I float it out there, it's way bigger. It is huge. And, cause we're at, like, okay, so, see, I can't get out unless I actually F out. Okay, so, okay, when you think about the size of how big we are, we are smaller than one of those engine blocks. See that? So now, if we are, think of that, move that over to the asteroid. Now, now you can see how actually, how big the asteroid actually is, right? So, so from this view, you can actually tell that it's much larger. But from this view, it just looks peeny. <laughs> It's funny. I don't know. Sorry. I just had to, just had to point that out. It's just... Uh, without a point of reference, it just doesn't look right. <laughs> uh, yes, I'll point out stupid things like that. Just gotta put up with it. <laughs> well, you don't. You can turn away if you want. You can cover your ears and scream. You can... 
Okay. Are we almost done with the copper Z lot? Like, holy crap, this is boring. I don't want to just sit here and listen to you talk. Well, you zap things with a laser. Even if it is super cool. Okay, we will sit here and listen to you talk when you zap things with a laser, because it's super cool. Oh. Sorry, that... That was my inside voice? Okay, we're almost got this stuff. It's 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 whoop, a little jumpy there. Sometimes, sometimes drilling, and same with the uh, the multi turret does that too. It'll be it'll be going along quite nice and smooth, and just do 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 do, and all of a sudden it'll go, thunk, like like skip faster than what I can actually move right now. Anyway, why am I drilling for crushed stone? I don't want crushed stone. Okay. <laughs> so you can see how easy this is. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I love it. Okay. Ah, well, guys, I think we're going to call it here because I am going to go around <clears throat> and mine the crap out of this asteroid field. <laughs> and, like, just suck it dry. Suck it dry, yes. I said that. I'm gonna suck these asteroids dry. Okay. Enough of the uh, suck sucking talk, because it sucks. What can I? Oh yeah, the limitations. I'm all. That's why I'm all cockeyed. There we go. Okay. So, um, hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Where? Let's take a look really quick before we uh, we shut down here. Uh, so we've collected almost a full stack of copper ore off just those quick skims of those couple de deposit areas there. So not bad. We're gonna get we're gonna get a decent amount to keep us going here. And we, I mean, we didn't really touch Akua that much, and there's tons on the moon still. I, it's one thing, once you're able to actually start getting resources in the game, they come pretty easy. And it's, it's not so hard to make these giant vessels and stuff like that, as long as you get the resources. It's just, it's all about the resources. <sighs> Which we're, trying for. I just wanted to show off my long drill on the front of my chip because it rocks. It's a laser and it drills meteorites and stuff. So yeah, I'm stoked. I am stoked. We've got a CV. We've got, uh, oh man, I think we're, I think we're in pretty good shape, guys. I think we're in pretty good shape for this Iron Man. Like we, whew, I'm nervous as hell. I'm nervous as hell. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not one of these confident, cocky type of guys. Really, I'm not. I'm, I'm scared the whole time. You might not think so because of my calm, cool demeanor, but. I am a little schoolgirl crying in the corner every time I get shot at. Like, like seriously, guys. Well, <laughs> on that note, we'll uh, uh, we'll leave it here. So, if you like this episode, uh, give me a like and um, turn your little notifications on and subscribe if you want to be notified when the next episode comes out. Uh, next episode, whew, I'm, I'm 
gonna hope for us to warp uh, a bunch of times and get some real stuff some real good stuff we're talking the four rare construction ores i'm i'm not super concerned about gold yeah it, it's you can buy a lot of stuff you need in the game in the way of weaponry and stuff like that i don't think i'm going to need to i think what i need is stuff that they're not going to sell me and that is like you know five freaking stacks of arrestrium ore sell me five stacks of arrestrium ore traders and and then <laughs> we'll talk <laughs> yeah that'll never happen <laughs> Okay, guys, uh, next episode, hopefully we warp. God, I hope we warp. We, we need stuff. We need to start getting this CV prepped. Uh, I, I basically, I'm just going to keep building a shell around it until it's, this, until it's like an impenetrable blob of metal that'll just hurdle itself at the enemy. With... <sighs> yeah, so you... You get my thrust. Okay, guys. Until next episode, I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day. <laughs>